Hello everyone, here I am going to solve 2016 CSAT question number 12 from question paper series A. Five people A, B, C, D and E are seated about a round table. Every chair is spaced equidistant from adjacent chairs. Then C is seated next to A. A is seated two seats from, C, seats from D. B is not seated next to A. On the basis of above information, which of the following must be true? Here we have three statements. We have to find which of these statements are true based on the given information. So here we have a round table. Around this there are five chairs spaced equidistant from one another. Then they are given three statements here. These are showing the seating arrangement of all these five people and here we can see all these statements are given based on a seating arrangement of a so for this particular question we are fixing the seat of a in any of these so i am considering this as seat of a i have fixed this now let us see the first statement c is seated next to a so there are two possible uh, seats next to A either on the right of A or left of A so C can be sit in this seat or here also this is the first statement saying then A is seated two seat, seats from D A is seated two seats from D that means suppose if D is here two seats from D is here A Otherwise, in the left side, if D is here, two seats from D, it is A. That is the statement 2 saying. Then statement 3. B is not seated next to A. Next to A, there are two seats, which is occupied uh, C. Then in third statement, it is given that B is not seated next to A. That means either here or here these are the two seats for b or and these are the two seats for d that means d d or b is seated either in this seat or in this seat these two seats are fixed for d and b then we have one more person that is e e can be seated either on here or here d and b already seated in these two so we can't uh, allow e to sit on these two seats so now we did all possible seating arrangements now let us see the statement given here d is seated next to b yeah d is if suppose d is here b will be here that is D is seated next to B. Then this is true. Then E is seated next to A. E can, e can be seated either here or here. Both these are next to A. So second statement also true. Then D and C are separated by two seats. Suppose D and C are separated by two seats. separated by two seats suppose consider here d and c suppose c is here and d is this then d and c are separated by only one seat here then now let us see here suppose d is this and c is here then d and there is no separation uh, seat in between d and c then another possibility is d is here and c is here then here there is only one seat in between D and C. So this statement is wrong. So our answer is option 1 and 2 only true in the above given statements based on the above informations. Our answer is option B. If you have any suggestions please do comment. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Keep supporting and loving us. Jai Hind.